I received a Bob Sweet vacuum in exchange for a video review. All opinions remain my own. Hi, it's Michelle from Honest and Truly, and I have a new vacuum. I love my robot vacuums. This one is the Bob Sweet Pet Hair Slam. It is in jet black. It comes in three different colors. Um, and this was my favorite color, but there's also a jade color and a reddish color. So this is my, well, I've had multiple vacuums. And it started when you had a vacuum and you turned it on and you had to set up blockers to keep it from going down the stairs. And that was pretty much it. It ran, it ran wherever, and then it would come back and you would hope it would be done. They have improved so much since that point. And I've had different vacuums that have been um, different versions and different levels of improvement along the way. So a lot of the things about the Bob Sweep Pet Hair Slam, or as I call him, Bob, because you have to name your vacuum. I've named every single one of my vacuums. Um, but there are a lot of things that have improved. So one thing that I really like is that it is super easy now to go ahead and release the um, dustbin. So you just press down on the maroon button that you know makes it really easy to find and slide it right out. So I will say this dustbin is a little bit smaller than the dustbin that I have on a couple of other vacuums that I've used. But at the same time, I am one who changes my vacuum filter and empties the dustbin pretty regularly. So I'm not super concerned about it not being as large as some of the other ones. When you want to open it, there's a nice little arrow here that tells you how to open. I will say the first time I did this, I was paranoid that I was going to break it. But you just kind of keep going and pull and then it opens and you can just shake it out into the actual um, dustbin in your house and empty it. And then you also have um, the little filters inside. So once you've emptied this piece of it, go ahead and close it back up. And then on top, there's a nice little lever. You simply slide it open. And then inside, you have your main filter. And this is the one that you replace. And it does come with a replacement in the package. And then this is the filter that goes underneath it. And this one, you can tap out and get most of the dust out. I do periodically rinse this under the sink. I make sure it is fully dry before I put it back. And then you simply slide it back into place here. Put this right back on top here. And then close it and it's good to go. So it's super easy to do that. That's one of the improvements that I really like. And then again, this simply slides right in here. And it's much easier to get it to fit than the one that I've had in the past for some of my vacuums where I kind of have to twist and turn and get it to actually go in. So that's a big one. Another piece that I really like is on the bottom, you always have the outer brushes as well as the main brush. So the outer brushes, when you had to clean them and we've got cats, I have hair, all of us shed. So there's a lot of hair that gets caught up in these um, a lot of times. So cleaning has always been an issue. So you'd have to get a screwdriver and unscrew this. You'd have to unscrew this piece of it. It's a lot of work to do it. But these actually just pop on and off now. So you see I took off this one right here. And you can see it's just a little square peg. You just have to put it right on. They are actually also labeled with an L and with an R. So you put it on the right side for the right one. To do it, you simply make sure that it's lined up as a square, push into place, pop it in there, and then it's good to go and it's going to stay in place. That said, if you need to clean it, you can simply pop it off, change it with a new one, but these ones are relatively easy to clean. I do also like the fact that Bob now comes with a cleaner that actually has a little blade in here. So I can kind of get in and cut some of the hair using this, as opposed to getting my kitchen scissors and then having to run them through the dishwasher. Also, I should note with this, there are two cleaning sides. This is a hard cleaning side and this is a soft brush cleaning side. So I use this on the filter to get some of that last bit of dirt out a lot. And this side also I can use to kind of get in there and clean the different uh, brushes and filters as well. The other nice thing, like I said, we used to use a lot of screwdrivers around here to take the vacuums apart. Now with Bob, you have this here and you simply squeeze the two levers. Oops. My bad, you have to take out the dustbin first. Squeeze the two levers as I was showing, and it pops right out here, which is over the brush. And then again, the brush you can simply pull out so that you can get all the dirt and hair that adds up. 
I tend to get a lot of hair that builds up around the edges right here when I vacuum. So this makes it very easy to get things in and out. And again, to use this handy dandy little tool to kind of get in there and cut through the hair instead of using my scissors. I appreciate this a lot. So that is one piece that I really like about it. Obviously putting them back together, same kind of thing, just in reverse. So this is kind of, again, the look. So he's about three inches tall. Um, the wheel, by the way, goes up when he's actually on the floor, but he's down when I'm holding him up like this. So he's three inches tall, which is a little bit shorter than what he had been before, which means that he can fit under a lot of my furniture because that in the past has been an issue with some of my vacuums where they get to my furniture and either they can't get under at all or they can get under just enough that they get stuck. So good news, I am not having that issue with Bob. So those are some of the features that we have here. And then we use Bob as a vacuum because like many of you, I hate to vacuum. The other thing I hate to do is I hate to mop. And I'm guessing that I'm not the only one who also hates to mop. Bob now comes with a mopping attachment. So this is an entirely separate dust bin container. Obviously it's a water bin, mop bin container. So it has a pad on the bottom, which is detachable. You can see it comes off, goes back on, so you can wash it and reuse it. I really like the fact that this is reusable because I do have a mopping vacuum that my mom purchased for me for my birthday last year, and I love it, but then I feel guilty because I have the mopping attachments that are not really reusable, and so there's a lot of waste in throwing things away. Again, this comes with two of the pads, so while one is being washed, you can be using the other one. This slides right into the dustbin where um, the other one went. Just swap them out when you're doing wet and dry. Obviously, directions are right on here. It's super easy to use. You're gonna do the same thing. Maroon button opens and closes to let you have it in and out. And then when you wanna put water in, there's a handy nanny little opener you add the water to and then close it. We have very hard water where I live, so I only, only, only will use water that is filtered water um, to use to clean here because I do not want to end up corroding or ruining any of my appliances any more than I have to. If you do not have hard water, you can use tap water. I'm just a little bit paranoid, so I always am going to use distilled water whenever I'm mopping on this one. So it's easy peasy. I love it. So those are some of the pieces there. Some of the other advancements since I got my first robot vacuum is that instead of going willy nilly, so it's gonna go over here and then it's gonna go over here and then it might come over here and I don't really know what did it clean, what did it not clean and I just hope that since I run it every single day, eventually everything's gonna get clean. Now it uses LiDAR mapping, which is a laser mapping that it does. So when you first run your bob, it goes and it figures out where everything is in your house, creates a map, and then that is the path that it will follow on a daily basis. So you can see where big obstacles are. So for example, I'm sitting at a dining room table right now. When I have Bob go, I take all of my chairs up and put them upside down on the dining room table so that Bob can get as much surface as possible, but it will recognize where the dining room table legs are because it can't get through the dining room legs. It will recognize where my coffee table is because it can't get under my coffee table the way it's designed. It will recognize where the couches are. It will recognize where the steps are. It won't go down the steps because it recognizes that they're steps, but it also recognizes that that's where it needs to stop. And I can see each day, did it actually make it around to all the different places or do I need to do something a little bit different to get Bob to um, clean everything? Like, oh, I don't know, pick up the shoes that someone left sitting on the floor. So that is one thing that I always do as soon as Bob starts running is pick up everything that does not belong on the floor that I do not want to have vacuumed or pushed around by a vacuum or an area that I don't want vacuumed. Otherwise, it'll just kind of see that there's something in the space, it won't vacuum there. And you'll see in the map, a little area that you can tell has not been vacuumed that day. So I like knowing that every space has been vacuumed every single day. The map is pretty accurate. I can look at it in the app and I can see exactly what it is. And that's another piece too. Bob did not used to have an app. In fact, no vacuums used to have an app. Now I can use the map, the app, which makes scheduling a whole lot easier because my first vacuum, no scheduling. When I wanted it to run, I had to press the button manually. 
The Bob Hair Pet Sweep Plus that I used to have is one that had a schedule, but it was a very manual um, creation of the schedule. They had a little remote control that I had to create the schedule in there. It wasn't the easiest thing. Now it's an app, so much easier. So the app lets you run the schedule, check how things are going with Bob, and so forth and so on. So it makes it a whole lot easier to do that. It also is a great and easy way if you have questions to reach out to your um, customer support if you have any issues there. So those are a lot of the improvements that it has made. It makes it a whole lot easier. And I have to say, I'm really kind of loving Bob. So setup is easy. Um, you pretty much plug it in, plug in the base, let them go, let them charge, download the app, connect to Wi-Fi via Bluetooth is the easiest way to get things set up. It also connects to my Google Home, which I have, or Alexa, which I don't have, so that I can use voice commands to get Bob to run as I want to. Whole lot of improvements. Um, again, you've got the display at the bottom that tells you kind of what the status is of everything that's going on with Bob, makes it a whole lot easier. If you have questions, leave them below and I will try to answer them. And let me know how your experience is with the Bob 